What's up, everybody? What's up? Hello, and thank you for checking out the video. I just want to let you know that I not only create content on my YouTube channel, Class in the Glass, but I'm also on Twitch, where I review movies, cartoons, and TV shows live, while also playing single-player games and multiplayer games. I also have a Patreon, where subscribers have access to hundreds of video and audio commentaries for films and cartoons, as well as podcasts and video casts. In the meantime, thank you again for watching. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome to my audio and video commentary to the 1996 Wes Craven directed classic Scream, a movie that defined a decade, defined a decade of horror. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the horror genre, the horror subgenre of the slasher was dying out during this time. Studios weren't interested in greenlighting these movies, and this was due in no small part to the diminishing returns of notable franchises like Friday the 13th and Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, other franchises like Hellraiser are going straight to VOD. There just, there just wasn't any interest in this. But thanks to Kevin Williamson, the screenwriter for Scream, and Wes Craven, who came in to direct, they revitalized it. Um, they brought in, I think, a little intelligence that the genre required where instead of indulging in all of the tropes that we so often see in horror films, particularly slasher movies, they decide to dissect them, put them up on the screen for everyone to see in plain view and make fun of them, but still also have some fun with those tropes uh, along the way. And like I said, they defined a decade of horror where you start to have uh, notable knockoffs of the Scream franchise. Things like I Know What You Did Last Summer and uh, Urban Legend. Of course, Scream went on to have several sequels. And we're on the eve of the release of Scream 5, which is coming up this January. And I thought it just made sense to go ahead and do an audio, video, and commentary. And, you know, my, myself, I, I, I'm a huge uh, fan of this movie. This probably is my favorite Wes Craven film. And it's just... It's it's just the kind of horror film where I really like it where it has characters that you enjoy, that you actually care about, uh, that you don't want to see die. So often in the horror uh, genres, particularly in slashers, you want all these people to fucking die. But I actually like these people. And they defy the tropes that usually define them. The stereotypes usually define them, which I think is pretty cool. But before we get into more than nitty-gritty details, we need to get in sick of each other before we start watching, okay? So when I go three, two, one, start, you start on start. Got it? All right, Chad, here we go. Three, two, one, start. What's that noise? Popcorn. And we have the, the voice of Roger Jackson as Ghostface. One where the guy had knives. And now they're going on, uh, on about Freddy Krueger. That's right. I like that. And a little bit of um, uh, Wes Craven's resentment towards the franchise right there. Well, the first one's great, but the rest of them sucked. <laughs> what do you want? To talk. All right, jerk off to someone else, okay? There's a, there's, a, there's a fucking line for that. That's Bernie. Listen, listen, you little asshole. bitch! Oh, you listen, you little bitch. You hang up on- Jesus! <laughs> oh my fucking god, Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, there he is, big tough football player. He's not looking good. He doesn't look that big and tough anymore. <laughs> Don't do it, I'll fucking gun him right there. We're gonna play a little game. Wanna play a game? And that is that chat. Ooh! Jesus Christ, they got- What the fuck did they use, my lord? Ah! There you go, and that's it. But I love that, like, Ghostface kind of gets his ass kicked, like, often. Like, he's falling down and shit. And there you go, Jay! Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is the opening of the movie! Can't kill Jay Barrymore, she's the sweetheart! No! Right there. Right there, trying the heart, too. Ooh. Oh, right in the balls. Oh, took it off. Oh. Ah. There you go. Ah. See, people are like, oh my god. Ah. This is the star of the movie. She's the main star, though, right? Just fucking guts hanging out and everything. I thought you dumped it for me. Oh, I did. It's full of shit. And are the police aware? There's a connection, chat. What are you saying? That I killed her? It would certainly improve your high school kill. Still, it was oh. a Oh. Yeah. Doing some on the clothes action, huh? No, I didn't kill anybody. Nobody's. He's like, shut the fuck up, Stu. Indeed. Do you like scary, scary movies, movies Sydney. Sydney? So where are you? Your front yeah. All right, I'm gonna go over there right now, and I'll see for my fucking self. So where are you? Here. Right here. Ah, <sighs> uh, okay. What am I doing? Oh. Huh? Picking that schnoz. If you hang up on me, you'll. Okay, that was really personal. 
Scary closet! Ah, see? Tricked you earlier, chat. You thought I was gonna come out of the closet earlier, but here you go. Again, I love that ghost face is always Woo! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Flailing half the time. Shit, fuck shit! Yep, always in the balls. Boom. Nice. The power of the internet, chat. Mac in the 90s, you can do anything in the internet. Jesus, Billy, oh my lord. Hi, how you doing? I just, uh, I ran over here and I, uh, I, uh, oh, Jesus, give me a second. <laughs> He's gone. Fucking, fucking creepy right there, Billy. Oh, he has a cellular phone, chat. I love in the movie they call it a cellular phone, not a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> and he always, anytime he has his gun out, he always has his fucking finger on the trigger. Like this the whole time. <laughs> Great. And these fucking assholes coming in here is good. I mean, honestly, they got the movements down. They, they, they do have the movements down pretty well. That's how he does run. Sydney. He's like, I'm really upset and stuff. So you gotta get over your dead mom. I love, the, I love this is the, you need to get over your dead mom scene. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. The cops said I scared him away. No, it wasn't me, Sid. Okay. I know. He called me again last night. It's a little awkward. See, see, it wasn't, it obviously wasn't me. It's been me, I was in jail. Okay. Remember? Oh. What is it? Billy, I was attacked yeah. and nearly filleted last night. I mean, between He's like, I'm really a horny, Sydney. I haven't been the same since. I want the sex. Oh, there it is. Mother died. Is your brain leaking? My mom was killed again. You're acting a little more psychotic than usual, Billy. You gotta tone it down. Tone it down. Now is not the best time. Tomorrow. I know what. Just say like, hey, can we just talk? Just that. Oh shit! I want the boobs. I'm back. Okay, I was probably not. That was not great. That was not very smooth. I'm sorry if my traumatized life is an inconvenience to you and your perfect existence. It's like, oh my god, Henry Winker's ghost face! Yeah, well, what's up? Yes. So I'm playing fucking Ding Dong Ditch with him. <laughs> oh, I'm on his side. And then we get one of the best director cameos, I think, of all time. Damn it's up there. Shit. What'd you call me? Where we have Wes Craven <laughs> dressed up as Freddy Krueger the Janitor. Oh shit, there it is! Ah! <laughs> right in the gut, too. Oh! He always with that head, always that fucking ton thing. He's got killer printed all over his forehead. Okay, really? Like he's like, yeah, yeah, obviously he's the killer, and he's right. <laughs> he's right. I don't watch enough movies. <laughs> this is standard hard. Exactly, he's like, yeah, I know. Like, people need to listen to Randy. No one listens to Randy. They need to listen to him more. They would survive longer. His body will come popping up in the last reel somewhere. Nailed it again. <laughs> Got it right again, Jeff. There's a formula to it. A very simple formula. Everyone's a suspect. How do we know you're not the killer? Huh? I'm too nerdy and lovable. Huh? Hi, Billy. Maybe you're... Mo and look at that. Like, Stu coming up behind him. Working in unison together, Chad. Working together. And here we go. Tatum go for them beers. Uh, and it's very cold tonight, Chet. It's very nipply. And that is not a chess piece that Rose McGowan is wearing. Those are her very erect nipples. Just, oh, hello, everybody. <laughs> Stupid cat thing. Lose the outfit. If Sydney sees it, she'll flip. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to play Psycho Killer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's see. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. No, no sequel for you. No Scream 2 for you. Sorry, that's not how this works out. You need to kill the best friend. That's how this works. Oh, no, the beer! Oh, God, another victim in the movie. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ow. Ow. Nope. Yes, beer attack! No! And Ghostface gets his ass kicked constantly throughout this franchise. <laughs> I guess I wonder if this is Stu here. Again, I'm trying to. Oh, no, my boobs! My big boobs! Uh oh. Oh no! My bosoms, they betrayed me! There you go. Oh, damn! <laughs> I love that squish effect. Oh, Lord. What's up, everybody? What's up? Here's one, 
don't you? There are certain rules that we're gonna survive this horror movie scenario. One, you can never have sex. <laughs> no. No, no. Boo! We like sex. Oh, big no. I'm a dead man. <laughs> sex equals death. It's done. Okay. Number two, you can never drink or do drugs. But I love drinking and I love drugs. Oh. <laughs> Number three. Okay. Never, ever, ever under any circumstances say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back. I'm getting another beer. You want one? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll be, be right, right back. back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there he is. I told oh, you. God, like at the score, like how he right uses. John Carver's score when, when fucking like Ghostface enters. It's great. Jamie, look behind And then he's like, <laughs> he's CJ McCann, but we're saying, Jamie, look behind you. Because it's Jamie Kennedy. That's fucking brilliant. I'll turn behind <laughs> you. <laughs> That's so perfect. <laughs> I'm not watching uh, weird stuff. I'm not watching weird things. camera in house. It's on a 30 second delay. Behind you! They're like behind you, Jamie! <laughs> yeah. Behind you, kid! Kenny! Behind you! Oh no, Kenny! What? Oh, 30 second delay. Yes, that's right. That's not good. That's it, Kenny. It's like, fuck! God damn it, fuck! How <laughs> upset he is. <laughs> bah. Bah. Bond. Dewey's on the case, chat. Don't you worry. It's on the outside, Gail. It's on the outside. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, it's Kenny! <laughs> you have any Cheetos? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, poor Kenny. God, Kenny, I'm sorry, but Kenny. Oh man, he gets no respect in life or in death. <laughs> Gail, wait! <laughs> <laughs> What if she hit a fucking tree? Bah! It wouldn't be funny if they decided to kill Gail if she went to like the fucking window or some shit. <laughs> that would be great. I would have loved that. I'm right there. Don't shoot, it's me. I found him. She's dead. I think Stu did. Oh, it's in him. It's in me. Stay back. And he's right. He's right. Jamie Kennedy is right in every part of the movie. He's right about Billy. He's right about Stu. He knows who the killers are. And he also knows who the killers are in Scream 2. I think it's very funny. He did it, Sid. He did it. He did it, Sid. Please, I didn't do it. That's right, you just don't like Randy because he's a nerd. Fuck you both! Oh, oh man! man. <laughs> At this point in the movie, it's like, oh shit, he might be a suspect. Yeah, he might be one of them. <laughs> hey, Billy. Hi, not feeling great. <laughs> just help me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Stu's flipped out. He's gone. Oh shit, there it is. There's the look. I'll go a little mad sometimes. Oh no! No! <laughs> Here we have Stu. <laughs> Is he here to save the day? Nope. Surprise, Stay. Sydney. Damn it! Two ghost faces! We did your mom a favor, Sid. That woman Damn. was a slut bag. A, not only a whore chap, but a slut bag. And she's the reason my mom Don't walked out and abandoned me. We'll see more of my cat. How's that for a motive? It looks like Stu's fighting out for the first time. Really? <laughs> I love the fucking look of Matthew Lord's face. Is that is that true? <laughs> Killed her exactly one year ago today. Attention. Oh, oh, hey, Dad. There he is, chat. Again, Randy was fucking right. And then and, and the last reel, he's revealed to be alive. A little fucked up. I'm ready, baby! Hit oh it! Oh, my God. Get up! Yeah, man, get up! Hit it! Oh. <laughs> Stabbing you hard, man! <laughs> Jesus! Ah, fuck! Fuck! God damn it, Stu! <laughs> I'm feeling a rosy air! Oh shit! Ah. Oh yeah, we forgot about her in the kitchen. <laughs> no one was watching her. <laughs> what? <laughs> Again? <laughs> Finding you dipshit, get up! I can't, Billy. Oh, you caught me. Oh, dipshit. shit, he's dying. I think I'm dying. I'm dying over here, man. This is one of the improv scenes in the movie. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> fucking hits him with the phone. Fucking hit me with the phone. You dick! Where she actually stabbed him with the umbrella. Ah. I think on that second stab, that was, that was real. It did actually puncture him. <laughs> In your 
drink. Oh. <laughs> and I feel like this is also like a little bit of a reference to uh, Dream Warriors. Where Freddy Krueger kills uh, that one girl. Look at the prime time, bitch. I mean, the dream reference. And then, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street. Connect with what's crave. It's like, ah, I see what happened here. Careful. This is the moment when the supposedly dead... I'm so glad they uh, they kept Randy around. One last scare. <laughs> I mean, she fucking domed him. But there you go, chat. Wes Craven's scream. <laughs> ah, last minute right there. Ghostface <laughs> at the supermarket, I assume. But uh, yeah, what incredible movie. So much fun. I hope you enjoyed this full length video and audio commentary. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye. I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and I want to take the time to tell you about my Patreon, Class in the Glass, which offers hundreds of film commentaries and video reactions to numerous movies, TV shows, and cartoons. If you're a fan of shows like Batman the Animated Series and Avatar The Last Airbender, or films like Aliens and Raiders of the Lost Ark, my Patreon is the platform for you. Currently, I'm doing a subathon to reach 75 subs on the platform. If we hit 75 subs, we'll be able to start voting on the next edited YouTube reaction, which will include actual clips and scenes from the movies and shows I comment over. Choose from such films as Fire and Ice, Masters of the Universe, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the Movie, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, or Spawn. Subscribing at any tier level is appreciated, and feel free to give feedback at any time. Thank you again for watching the video, and see you next time.